Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a very beautiful game played by Paul Morphy against an amateur chess player Schroefer. The game was played in 1859 in Paris. Morphy started with e4, e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we see the Italian game, knight f6, and Morphy chooses this aggressive scotch gambit, e takes d4, white castles, knight takes e4, rook e1, pinning the knight, d5, bishop takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c3, now black can't capture on c3 because the queen is hanging, queen h5, knight takes e4, bishop e6 covering the king, knight g5 putting pressure on e6 and a bad move by black, bishop b4. It was very important to castle queen side and bring the king to a safer square, Knight takes e6 is not dangerous, simply f takes e6, if rook takes e6 then bishop d6. But instead we see bishop b4 in the game, which allows white to gain initiative at once by capturing on e6. Though of course Morphy decided to capture on e6 with the rook, but the simple knight takes e6 move is stronger. If f takes e6 then rook takes e6 check, knight e7, queen takes d4, there are so many threats, black is just in trouble. But instead we see rook takes e6 check, f takes e6, knight takes e6. Now the threat is knight takes g7 check, forking the king and the queen. Queen goes to f7, also the queen is protecting the pawn on c7. Knight g5, queen e7, queen e2, bishop d6, knight takes g7 check using the fact that the queen on e7 is pinned. King d7, queen g4 check, king d8, and not a good move by Morphy, knight f7 check. A better move is knight e4, though it's very difficult to move your pieces backward when you are attacking. If h5 then knight e6 check, king c8, queen h3, king b8, bishop g5 and white has an advantage. But instead we see knight f7 check in the game, queen takes f7, bishop g5 check, bishop e7, knight e6 check and here comes a bad move by black king c8. A better move was king e8, allowing white to capture on c7. But in this case black can simply play king d8, if knight takes a8 then bishop takes g5, queen takes g5, king c8 and black has an advantage. Seems like white is also going to lose the knight on a8. But instead we see king c8 in the game which allows Morphy to checkmate black in the most beautiful style. Knight c5 check, king b8, knight d7 check, king c8, knight b6 double check, king b8, here comes a brilliant queen sacrifice, queen c8 check, rook takes c8 and knight d7 checkmate. Your comments and questions please and if you liked this brilliant smoother mate, don't forget to give the thumbs up. Good luck.